Gallus DJ MV. I'm Angela Yee. And I go by the name of Charlemagne the God, and we are the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. That's right, and you are watching Hip Hop Wired. I want to see Drake come to the show. I think he He's doesn't dead. want to. Yeah. I think Sierra is probably nervous to come on the show. Um, Future won't come on the show. I don't know if you would say they're scared or they just. I wouldn't come. Why? Why would you come? Yes. No. <laughs> Why yes? Why no? I think it's competitive. I think hip hop, hip hop is a competition, and I think from the old school, from Run DMC to Jay Z Nas, I think it's. I think it makes it better. You know, your man do a line that you throw one back at him. There's nothing Drake can say to Jay Z. Absolutely nothing. You can't compete with him on any level. Yeah, he can rap, but what are you gonna rap about? Like, what are you gonna say that's gonna make people be like, oh wow, he got that Jay, whatever, whatever. Plus, Drake was wrong. Drake should not have been talking off the record to Rolling Stone about Jay-Z. Jay-Z would never do that to him. You think Drake don't call Jay-Z and ask him for advice? Right. And as the big homie, Jay don't never get talked off the record about what Drake says to him, so he shouldn't have did that to Drake. He know he was wrong, so I think he's just gonna take that spanking and sit down. And it wasn't a spanking, it was just a hand pop. Like, it's definitely a hand pop. But if you call him Miss Drizzy, then it was more than a hand pop. Everybody calls Drake a female. No, just you and, mm -hmm. and Hope. And then Hope, yes. yes. You think Rick Ross is over? I don't think Rick Ross is over, definitely, no way. I mean, he, he's still putting, I mean, he did, what, 100, over 100,000 units in his first week, so I definitely don't think so. And I think Fifth got a shot. I think Fifth got a shot. I mean, he's still relevant when it comes to vitamin water, when it comes to the headphones are doing well. I think he, if he puts out the right record, I think he still has a shot. 50 Cent is relevant as 50 Cent, the brand. Musically, he's a little cold. He's a lot cold, but he does have a shot. He's one record Absolutely. away. You can't count 50. Yeah, you can't, you can't, said, no matter what personality-wise, is still a star. Yeah, I mean, and you can't, I mean, say, you can't count fifth out. You know what I'm saying? He's just one of those people, when he puts his mind to something, he can win. Absolutely. But I would, I would like to see 50 with a good team of people behind him, like how Rick Ross has Wale, he has Meek Mill, yeah. he has Dolly, he has his producers, he has a team of people. I think the thing that, that 50 is lacking is who is he... Yeah. Got with him. And that's why Ross won't fall off. Because Wale's relevant, Meek's relevant. I love Gunplay. That's one of my favorite rappers, new rappers. I don't, yeah, yeah. Ross can't fall off because of that reason alone. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Envy, the way that you mm -mm. started I mean, that Gucci Mane interview <laughs> the last was time I so you, disrespectful. Nah, I wouldn't. I mean, that's, that's just me. You know, it's. You allegedly threw a girl out of a car, uh, I guess down in Atlanta. What happened with that case? Hey man, you think I'm gonna talk about that? I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, mean, I gotta I'm ask just, everything. I'm just asking you. No, I wouldn't. Well, when we know we have guests coming, we try to spray for breeze because it stinks in there sometimes. Yes. And if you watched any Breakfast Club interview, you know we don't do our research at all. We don't be knowing what that. I do research. Do. I do. It's my conversations research. most of the time, so it's. I not try to make sure if somebody. Just I think it's a respectful thing to do. If somebody's coming on the show and they have an album out or a mixtape, I would definitely go and make sure I listen to it. If I can't listen to the whole thing, I'll listen to some of it. You know, I make sure I know what they have because, you know, at the end of the day, while I want to have a great conversation, I also want to be respectful and know what it is that you're promoting and and be able to speak about what it is instead of saying, you know, when Kanye came on, yes, I went to go see his show. Hey, because I'm, when he comes up there, I want to have something to base my opinion on. I'm just like any other fan. If I don't care, I don't care. I'm not listening to your music just because you come to the show. I'm going to your show just because you come to the show. That's what Kanye tried to pull. He was like, yo, if y'all don't, don't go to my concert, I'm not, then I'm not going. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got tickets to the Cowboys-Giants game this Sunday. I'm not coming to your concert. I give, don't come then. It means me nothing. Yeah, you went, I went. Show me nothing. I try to be respectful. Catch us on Revolt every morning, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern time, and then the replays, right? Yes, it does. 6 to 9, West Coast.